What's up people? So I've been using Hacks Flixel now for the past eight to nine months to develop my own game. And there's a lot of things I like about it. It's first of all, it's built on Hacks, which if you don't know what Hacks is, check out my article on Dev.2, which I've written um, a small bit about what Hacks is and why you should care about it. Also, it's that is really simple and easy to use. And if you're new to game development and you have some experience with coding in JavaScript, I highly recommend it. Aside from that, I'm going to talk about an issue I've seen on the Discord forums for Flixel, which is over here. Um, I've seen it come up about once or twice, and that is having a custom icon for your Hacks Flixel game. So as easy as Hacks Flixel is to use, it's not that easy to add your own custom icon. If you look at the documentation, it only has kind of text for iOS and Android. If you hit desktop targets, you, you don't really get that much for custom icons. So if I go to iOS, it will say, all right, you need to have I don't know what this is, like 10, 12 images um, for a custom icon. You have to have um, an attribute here with with iOS and you have to have different sizes and, and different whatnot. Similar with Android, um, you've got to have an at, uh, attribute for Android and different sizes. And I'm here to tell you it's not that difficult. I'm going to show you a way to have a custom icon for, for iOS, Android. Um, my, my games are on desktop targets, so I use this for, for Mac, um, HTML5, Windows, and it's a lot simpler than this. Basically, what you have to do is, um, I'm going to show you my code here. So this is my my uh, Pangolin game, um, which I'm going to show you how to get access to if you want to play it. But anyway, this is my project XML file, which has all the settings for my game. And at the bottom, this is where you add custom things to overwrite hacks, flicks, or defaults. And I've put here my custom icon. And I just have one. So this one icon works for a web, Mac, Windows, this icon is placed in my assets folder, as you can see by the path, and it's an SVG. So SVGs work perfectly because they're scalable vector graphics, and whatever size you need, Flix will automatically adjust it to the platform you're, um, you're exporting to. So if you're exporting for an iOS, it'll, it will generate all the different images for Mac, for, uh, sorry, for, for Windows, everything, it'll take care of it. Now your SVG, you can't just kind of go to, I don't know what you use, Sketch or Illustrator and hit File Export. Um, it has to have some specific properties. So first of all, this is the SVG that I use. As you can see, it's all a bunch of numbers and code. And you've got to make sure that you're not using any CSS classes. Um, so if you see here, a CSS class will have something like, I don't know, class, something like that, right? You don't want any inline, you don't want any CSS classes. You want your styles to be inline if you can make them inline. And also, if you can, minify your SVG, so make it as small as possible um, so you don't take up too much space. You want the game to, to prevail and not your game icon. So that's it. So put it at the bottom, right at the bottom of, of your project. Make sure it's an SVG. Make sure the path is inside your assets folder so it's easy to find. And once you do that and export your game by typing lime test HTML5 or sorry, line build HTML5 or, or line build Mac or Windows, or whatever, um, your game should work perfectly. And if you don't believe me, then um, I recommend you check out my Pangolin game and see if it, see it working in action. Um, I actually should have been a good video person and put it up for you to see, but I don't have that at the moment. Um, so if you want to check out my game, uh, go to hellolightbob.h.com, it's over here. At the time of watching, I only have one game at, at the moment, but down in the future, I might have a few more um, on this page and if you want to ask any further questions check out the Flixel Discord so make sure you have access to the Hacks server and there's a Flixel channel over here which I'm quite frequent on so there you have it I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video bye